welcome to another episode of Auto Repairs. Today, we'll be taking a look at the exhaust system in this 2008 Dodge Ram 3500 with the Cummins turbo diesel. Apparently, it uh, got damaged somehow, smashed, maybe somebody backed into it. So we're gonna take a look and see if we can fix it. But we have a kink right here at the section of the tailpipe that goes up and over the rear end. We may have to replace the tailpipe section yeah, it doesn't look like it did much damage further forward. All right, here we go. Keep an eye on the prize. That's going to separate here. So hopefully I can one-shot it here. Two for good measure, huh? All right, now we got that loose. I just have to slide it out of the hanger. This is a cool new tool that we have at the shop here, and this is used to get the metal hangers out of the, out of the rubber hangers. So you just leave it open, you go into your hanger spot, and then you just, you just push it through. It's pretty slick, and uh, I'll be using it for this part here. Uh, it's really hard to see, so uh, I'll try and show you the best I can. Okay, there we are. Like I told you, it's hard to see it, but I have the tool on it, and once you get it set up, you just squeeze, and it pushes it right through. I'm not going to push it all the way through yet because I have one hand holding a camera and there's nothing holding the tailpipe up from bashing me in the face. And as funny as that would be, I don't think it would be very funny. So I'm going to take this down now. What we have is we have some pipes here that we can install. There's this one here. This one here, both these pipes made in Canada. Here's part number for it if you want to see it. What I got to do though is because this one has this hanger section right here, that part is back here. So I'm going to have to cut a section of this new pipe off. What we need to do is we need to cut this part of this pipe off. So we need to eliminate the hanger section completely, but we also need to save as much of the pipe as possible. So we're gonna make a cut right next to our hangers and get those out of the way. All right, here we are. We got it apart. Our next step is to go put this piece on our project. Well, a lot has happened since I, uh, since I showed you guys anything. I had to cut this hanger off the tailpipe here. I'm gonna install my own. I also removed that rubber hanger that goes up back there just to get this pipe in and to clear the tire just enough. That was that was pretty tough. I had to beat this pipe in here uh, and shove it into the muffler there. So here's where we're at. It's all tack welded in. Now it's just ready for me to weld away and I'll show you I'll show you what I do with this hanger set up here. To make it all work, I cut these uh, two different cuts here to make it work. It's pretty close once I cut that off, but I just needed a little bit more so I could clear that tire completely. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of overhead welding. The rear pipe's going to be a little tricky. Okay, here's the almost finished result. I just uh, finished painting the welds, so they look pretty. All painted up. I also finished the hanger. Yeah, I put the I put the rubber hanger back on, and and there's the uh, the piece. That metal hanger is the piece that. Uh, that we cut off here, so that works out. I just have to trim the tailpipe back a little bit now. Not too bad, huh? Yeah, I think it looks pretty good myself. Thank you for watching this episode of Auto Repairs. That was a pretty fun one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, show me. Drop me a like, 
uh, down below, comment. I'd love to uh, hear any questions you guys have. Um, but most importantly, thank you for watching.